Hiya folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And if you'd like more cartoon news and shenanigans, I'd ask you to please subscribe to my channel. In fact, do it right now so you don't forget about it later. And I thank you very much for that, guys. I'm on the road to a thousand subs and every sub counts, so thank you very much if you just subbed. Anyways, guys, yesterday, uh, sorry, a couple days ago on Tuesday, Tuesday night, I was live streaming and one of my subscribers said... Sandro, his name was T. Sean Smith. So I want to thank T. Sean Smith for this. He said, Sandro, can you talk about a show called Smiling Friends that's set to premiere? Uh, we don't know the release date, but apparently it's coming out towards the end of 2021. And it's already October. It's like October, November, December. It's got to be coming out in the next little while here, unless it gets delayed. Uh, and there was a trailer. See, I, I had never heard of this show. There was a trailer in May. Um, and if I, if you go to the Wikipedia here, I did some uh, research here. Smiling Friends. So Smiling Friends is an upcoming American-Australian. That's pretty rare, right? You don't see that too often. Adult animated television series created by and starring Zach Hadell. And Michael Cusack for Cartoon Network's nighttime programming block, Adult Swim, which revolves around a business dedicated to making people smile. So in this show, you know, there's a bunch of depressed people and they go around and try and like, you know, work with them to make them laugh and cheer them up. Uh, the pilot episode aired April 1st, 2020. Uh, as part of Adult Swim's annual April Fool's Day event, alongside another network of Kusaks, YOLO. Yeah, and I want, okay, you guys might remember, I did a video on this one. It's actually one of my most popular videos on this channel. YOLO Crystal Fantasy, terrible. You guys actually might remember, I made a tier list. Where, whatever happened to that tier list? There we go. Uh, I actually made a tier list of random cartoons that I picked out of a hat. And I actually put YOLO Crystal Fit. There it is, by the way. There, there. I don't know if you guys can see it where my mouse is moving. Uh, I had a, I have a tier list where like, you know, right now out of all the ones that I picked out of a hat, I said Kim Possible's top tier, Dexter's Lab top tier, regular show, DuckTales all top tier. Uh, SpongeBob, I, I said was high tier because, uh, towards the end of the show, the, the later seasons get really bad. I didn't think they were that good. The first seasons of the show are like really good, but the, SpongeBob carried on for like 20 years and a lot of bad seasons. Uh, there's a lot of bad episodes and a lot of bad seasons. So that, if you're wondering why SpongeBob is in high tier, and then Fosters, I thought Fosters was high tier. Uh, Young Justice uh, had a really not great third season. Samurai Jack had a really rushed season finale. And uh, the original show before it had the season, or the what was it, the season five where they did 10 really high quality episodes. Uh, some of the other Samurai Jack episodes weren't that great, honestly. So I, I thought uh, Samurai Jack was pretty middling. Uh, Disenchantment, not as great as Futurama or The Simpsons. Uh, well, The Simpsons these days, but uh, <laughs> The Simpsons these days are pretty iffy. And then we got a whole bunch of other ones here. We got like Pippi Longstocking, Amazing Adrenalini, Max and Ruby, Yoko Jakamoko Toto. That is a show aimed at kids that I used to watch where the characters don't even talk. And I still rated that show higher than YOLO Crystal Fantasy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, yeah, Yoko Jakamoko Toto, uh, beats out YOLO Crystal Fantasy. So I am not a fan of YOLO Crystal Fantasy. Uh, yeah, maybe I got into another episode of this tier list. I feel like, I don't know. It, do you guys want to see more of the tier list episode? I feel like people didn't watch them because they were an hour long. Maybe I shouldn't have talked so much, huh? Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do an episode three of the tier list. Uh, we're going to see about that one. We're going to see. I have a lot of stuff to do. I have to do the Courage the Cowardly Dog review. I've got all these kinds of things. Uh, so we're going to see about this one. Uh, but yeah, back to the smiling friends, back to the smiling friends. So YOLO crystal fantasy, awful show, but at least this show looks, it, it, it looks and feels better. YOLO crystal fantasy, a God awful animation. It was so bad. My God. Uh, it was terrible. The voice acting was like not great. Um, so yeah. And, uh, adult swim and the show's creators announced that the series had been greenlit 
uh, along with Royal Crackers, and then it was set to premiere later in 2021. So again, it's later. T. Sean, the guy who's um, the subscriber who asked me to talk about this, he was just reminding me, even though I've never heard of this. He just he wanted me to talk about it. He's like, "When is this thing coming out?" I honestly don't know. I, I did a bunch of research online. I can't seem to find when it's going to come out. But uh, we also get the information here. The first season is set to contain eight eight episodes, including the pilot that already aired. Um, and uh, I, I did on the live stream. I actually watched the first couple minutes of the pilot. Uh, so, yeah. Let's take a look at the trailer, though. This is an older trailer. Uh, and people seem to love this show. Uh, 54K likes. Uh, well, you got thir 331 uh, dislikes. And uh, let's see what we got here. So I'm going to flip the uh, – did I already flip it? There we go. There. I flipped it around there so uh, we don't get uh, a copyright claim. Let's turn a little hamster friend on. Let's see what we got. When you need cheering up, there's okay. only one team to call. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, so okay, uh, I'll, I'll play the trailer, and then I'll talk about it. My precious piece of cheese has gone missing. Oh, okay. yeah. What the heck? Adult Swim is proud to announce Smiling Friends coming later this year. Coming later this year. Get out there and make someone smile. Whoa. Weird. Uh, so let's pause it here. Let's pause it and uh, let's go through some of that. Let's take the hamster off. Let's uh, let's flip it back and let, let's just uh, do a slower breakdown here. Uh, so there's, I guess that's their headquarters. Just a giant ass like. It looks like this thing just smoked some marijuana and it just has bloodshot eyes. Uh, and I love how there's just a fucking little door down there. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of funny and it's right next to an asylum and a toilet emporium isn't that uh something else uh ron's deli i wonder if that'll come up ron's deli and we do see a little fellow there maybe that's ron i, I couldn't tell you i i didn't watch all of the pilot i only saw the first like two minutes of the first uh first episode there Let's see, let's see here. So then they go to the door. One of the things about this show is that a lot of the human characters, so these characters here are, are the main characters. Uh, a lot of the human characters just are just drawn so disgustingly. Like what the hell? You got these decrepit fingers here. <laughs> you got the the giant ass chin. Like what the hell's going on with this artwork? Um I guess you could say, like, it, it's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be, like, grotesque on purpose. But, like, that is some ugly-ass artwork. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So there we go. Um, there's the main character. We get a nice little shot of him there. I, I don't know the names exactly. Turn that frown upside down with Adult Swim's new animated series, Smiling Friends. Uh, so, yeah, I can't remember the characters' names. This guy's name is Desmond. So we get to see in the trailer, um, you know, she wants to make, I guess it's her son or her husband's smile. And uh, we saw in the trailer, he just has a gun to his head. Freaking hilarious. Uh, that, you know, and, and this is an adult show. It is Adult Swim. But uh, look at this guy's face. <laughs> look at this guy, right? Super overweight, super deformed. Like, what the hell's going on with the humans in this show? They all just, like, look so weird. Uh, and then we have this guy. We have... Yeah, this looks uh, this looks iffy. I'm assuming this is the main character's girlfriend, the blonde. Um, you know, this is a classic kind of trope here where they make the main character look just like the other character, but like maybe they have lipstick and a bow tie, uh, just like Mrs. Pac-Man, right? Mrs. Pac-Man, lipstick and a little bow tie, and there you go, Minnie Mouse, Minnie Mouse. Don't forget, Minnie Mouse, lipstick, and a little bow tie, and it's basically the same thing. So uh, they're doing a classic cartoon uh, sort of trope here. Uh, I don't understand why some of the people are, like, pink, and then some of the people just look like regular humans. I don't get what that's about. Um, but, yeah, this dude's doing that little S that, like, I don't know, in classrooms. I remember when I was a kid, people would always do that classroom stuff. Uh, we have this guy. I don't know if this guy's a main character. I don't know what the hell this thing is here. Uh, he's wa watching something on his iPad. That looks like a meme. I don't know. It looks like he's looking up a meme or something. 
Uh, not sure. Uh, this looks like something out of Adventure Time. Am I? Am I right? That I, I swear this. This looks like something right out of an Adventure Time episode. I swear. Uh, so there we go. He's on. <laughs> he's smiling friends. There you go. Coming later this year, and we still don't know when it's coming. So um, stay tuned, I guess. And then we have this character. Uh, oh, and uh, they seem to have blurred out. I don't know what he's doing there. It looks like he's eating an apple or something. Or I don't know. I don't know. But uh, you know, it looks interesting. It, it definitely looks interesting. Uh, and there is a pilot. You could go online and uh, definitely look up a pilot uh, of the thing. It's called. Remember, it's called Smiling Friends. The pilot's online. I'm going to leave the link to this trailer in the description down below so you guys can go watch it yourself. I'm kind of curious. I want to read like the first 10 comments. Let's see here. Zach gets his TV show. Chris gets his game. And Tomar gets his uh, restraining order. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm assuming those are the creators of uh, the show. Um, finally, a show made up entirely of Zach, uh, hypotheticals. Once Zach is green and retired, he'll look back at the, on this moment and shed a single tear and sorry, and shed a single disgusting goblin tear and smile. Yeah. One of the, again, it's, it's weird. The, the humans all just look so like decrepit and weird in the show for whatever reason. Uh, just when I lost hope, it's finally coming. Um, the Adult Swim higher ups were so impressed when they saw Zach's work on Worm Odyssey that they greenlit this show immediately. I don't know who this Zach character is, but uh, people seem to love this guy. <laughs> that explains Zach's recent disappearance on Oni Plays. Oh, Oni. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oni Plays. I've seen this YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I, I swear I've seen that. I've seen YouTube. I remember the name sounds familiar. Oni Plays. Yeah. Okay. I'm so happy for it. So that's why people probably like him. So it's a YouTuber then. Uh, okay. Getting to hear Zach's iconic nose breathe through my TV speakers in my own home on a consistent ba uh, basis is all I've ever needed in my sad husk of existence. Let's look up Oni play. Where was that uh, comment there? Uh, da, da, da. Oni, Oni, Oni plays. Yeah. I, I swear I've seen videos from this, right? I must have seen videos. Let me see. Oni play. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen this. So this guy, uh, almost a million views here. Um, very, uh, so yeah, you know, I, I can understand why so many people are excited for the Zach now, right? Uh, very good YouTube channel. I've definitely seen a whole bunch of these videos back in the day. Uh, wow, this guy is pretty damn consistent here one week ago. Yeah, um, but anyways, guys, I think that or maybe should I read one more comment? I don't know. <laughs> should I read just like one more? Who knows? Who knows? No, maybe not. Okay, okay. Uh, nah. What, uh, what the heck? I'll do one more. Uh, I hope whoever voiced that nice old lady gets cast on the hit Disney Plus series The Mandalorian. What the heck? That's a weird comment. Okay, let's do one more. The announcement makes me feel a whole lot of joy. I cannot wait for the cameos of Tomar beating the crap out of his wife, Zach's orb, and Lyle's iconic eye. Uh, it's actually happening. After an entire year of being obsessed with the pilot, Zach can finally put a worm in episode two. There you go, guys. So if you're a fan of Oni plays, uh, I, I think at the end of some of his videos, it's like Oni cartoons, right? Like that's what it says at the end or at the beginning. Uh, I, I've seen the videos. I've seen the videos. So this, so I, this is from that guy. I didn't realize that until I read. So it's always good to read the comments. Sometimes you just learn stuff uh, that you never would have learned until you uh, get down there. So very, very interesting. You know what? I'm going to give this video a nice little like right there. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll subscribe to Adult Swim. Why not? Um, speaking of subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave some comments down below in my video. Are you guys going to be watching this when it eventually comes out? Uh, do you like this show? Are you a little bit off put by the art style? I could, I could see it. Uh, a lot of you guys, all, anytime I do a video about an adult swim, you guys definitely tell me Sandro, I just don't, I can't get behind adult swims art style. So I, I, I hear you. I definitely hear you. Um, some of the art here is very iffy, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, let me know your thoughts. You got to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Please like, please share. And once again, please subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye, everyone. And again, I'll put the link in the description so you can watch this for yourself.
unfortunately, you have to go look up the pilot. Uh, there is a pilot for this. Go look it up for yourself. Okay? See you later. Bye-bye.